Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, One Rental at a Time, back with his good friend, Mr. Todd Baldwin. How you doing, sir? Doing great. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, man. So uh, something we talked about in video number two was a, um, a homeowner who had been in their house for multiple decades and what they might do, right? They want to trade down. And I really gave you two answers. Really what that was really pointing at was the idea of supply destruction or what Bank of America is calling the interest rate trap. So if you don't mind, I'm going to pull up a spreadsheet. I'm going to ask you eight questions. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you to visualize last year, rates really low, prices really high. This year, prices really high, interest rates really high. And we're going to go through this. And I'm going to ask you, what is the net change this mm -hmm. year versus last year? Some will be up, some will be down, and we're going to be using percentages. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. All right. So here we go. So this is my example of supply destruction. So we're going to go to the bottom because that is the most, that is the easiest for people to understand. Mm -hmm. So again, we talked about it, I think a little bit in video number one, we have the buyers who bought a couple of years ago, they would normally move up. They mm -hmm. now go shopping and they realize they, that their payments up 100, 200%. So in your mind, I'm imagining based on video one that you're you see less move up buyers moving. For sure. Yeah. There'll be less people moving. Yeah. That's right. They're going to, and that, just so you know, that's two transactions. That's a sell and a buy. Mm -hmm. So when I talk about 50% drop, this is a lot of the reason why, mm -hmm. but what percentage of move up buyers do you think don't move this year that may have moved last year? This is probably a negative number. Oh gosh. So like, just, just to clarify, if, if 10% of people were going to move out of their houses, how many are, are going to now? How many are not going to move? So is it going to be half of those people? So it's 50%. It's going to be 10% of those people. I would say at least half. I mean, if, if okay. they have a 2% interest rate and exactly. interest rate now 5%, I, I think it's going to be maybe even more than half. What do you think? Just let's do three. minus seven. 70. <clears throat> you mean 70, right? Yes. 70%. Yeah. Okay. So now let's talk about investors. This is me and you, right? Mm -hmm. Last year, top prices. Last year, eviction moratoriums were over. We, we wanted to cash out. Now, interest rates are higher, nothing for us to buy. Do we buy more? Do we buy less? What do you think investors are doing in this environment? For me, I, <clears throat> it's been sort of unchanged. I, okay. I buy at the same rate that I, that I normally buy at. That's fine. Zero is fine. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So no change. Must sell. Do you think you know, deaths up, divorces up? you know, job transfers, you know, some people, no matter what's going on in the real estate market, just have to sell. Yes. You think this is up or down? I would imagine this is flat as well, but okay. yeah, certainly not an expert. No, it's fine. I mean, these are all just opinions. How about foreclosures? You and I both know moratoriums where uh, you couldn't do them. So this percentage might be wild because now you can actually file them. But again, foreclosures take time. So maybe it doesn't happen uh, this year. Maybe it's next. But do you think we have more people that get foreclosed, short sale, deed and lieu? Yes. What percentage? Let's say maybe 10% more. Okay. And then there's flippers, right? We talked about a bifurcated market. We've talked about high prices. Most flippers use hard and private money, non-QM, which is getting harder and harder and tighter and tighter. I'm going to argue that flippers have less profit, longer hold times. Maybe it's not as profitable. Uh, do you think flippers are more or less aggressive, more transactions this year? I would say less. Okay. How much less? Maybe minus 10. Okay. Builders. Do you think builders do more because there will be less sales or do you think builders get smoked because nobody can afford them? I think builders are getting crushed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> minus 20. Yep. Downsize. This was really the question that you asked earlier. How many people make that trade? And they, because again, some of these folks use their house in the ATM. They don't have the room. Some of them are looking at, you know, if I sell, I could pay cash. So maybe they don't care. Others are like, Hey, my payment is this. My payment is that it's the same. Why would I want a smaller home? What do you mm -hmm. think? Um, I think some people might want to take advantage of the equity they have and cash out. So let's say 10%. So an increase. Okay. No problem. And then the only other category I could figure out, maybe there's people that bought vacation homes over the last couple of years and don't want them return to office coming. Uh, you know, maybe they tried a different state, but don't like it. So they're going to sell and come back. Maybe 5%. Okay. 
Okay. <clears throat> all right. So that's your numbers. I, I'll just show instead of doing another one. This, this is what all my experts were. So I asked everyone. I obviously haven't added you yet. Mm -hmm. But what, what is interesting is this was the average. So again, you said 5%. The average was 4 I actually guessed down 20 mm -hmm. Downsize, the average was uh, negative 20 I guessed 30 Builders, the average actually was positive. Really? Yeah. My yeah. get my, and again, I actually was higher than the average. My thinking is that builders are going to, tr are, are going to rotate down. Mm. Uh, they're going to build smaller stuff. That was again, if they don't, they're going to get smoked. If they mm -hmm. keep building McMansions, they're going to go broke. Mm -hmm. Flippers. I think we all thought they were going to go down. I actually said can't afford going to skyrocket percentage wise, but numerically it's noise. Right. Cause there's nothing happened. Um, death and divorce. I said zero. Actually, somebody brought up a good point. There's actually more divorces happening this year than the last couple of years. I didn't know that. I didn't know people could afford a divorce this year. Yeah, exactly. Of inflation. Uh, and then investors generally down. And then the, the big one move up. This is, this is like half the market. Mm -hmm. So again, the market for existing home sales was 6 million rough and tough. Mm -hmm. If this is half the market, because again, two transactions sell and buy. If you lose half the transactions, that's so half the transactions is 3 million. And then you lose half of those 3 million. That's 1.5 million less mm -hmm. transactions. Again, mm -hmm. this doesn't necessarily mean pain for the homeowner. It probably means pain for real estate agents and mortgage brokers, but pretty crazy. So clearly supply destruction is going to happen. Wouldn't you say? Absolutely. That's the big takeaway from this, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Any, they, any other thoughts about this? Uh, do you feel better or worse about the coming year in real estate? I mean, I feel great about it, but I'm, I'm poised to, to weather whatever storm is coming and to buy when I, when it is right and to not buy when it doesn't seem right. So yeah. I feel great. I do feel for the first time home buyers or for the people that want to move up, you know, some people are going to be put out or, or not at least get the house or the deal they want, but such is life. Yeah. It's, it's, um, that's actually the message, right? So I bring a message to my channel. I do it on the daily financial news that the, the housing market's going to get harder. However, if you're an investor and you're doing one rental at a time, back to video number two or whatever that was, um, it's actually going to be easier. Mm -hmm. I believe it, you know, to steal Grant Cardone's 10X, I believe it will be 10X easier for us to find motivated sellers. Mm -hmm. It won't be easy. It'll just be 10X easier because it was impossible last year. Right. Uh, so I'm excited about what's coming uh, and ready for it. And again, back to your example of the 900 or the 1.2 house, I will only write great offers. Mm -hmm. And if it works for the seller, right? And that example, it doesn't cash flow at 900, but it does at 750. If he wants to go to Miami and he's got all the, he's got all that equity, maybe he takes 750. Mm -hmm. right. Or maybe he takes, here's the deal, right? What I would probably do in that example, just to set the stage in case you missed it, 1.2 house, 70 year old, owns it free and clear. I'm going to bring him two offers, Todd. I'm going to bring him offers where I have to get bank money and call it 6% and tell him, hey, I'm an investor. I have to get this yield. Uh, in order to do that and, and cash you out, I have to pay 750. Mm -hmm. However, because you are the owner, have you ever thought about this idea? What if I paid you $1.2 million and then gave you a payment of whatever made sense. And oh, by the way, I would not tell them this at least up front, but I would have the interest rate be 1%. Because mm. again, mm. your price, my terms. Right. Because for me, I don't really care what I pay. I'm a buy and hold guy. Mm -hmm. I'll gladly pay 1.2 and get 0% interest or 1% interest as long as it cash flows and I can hold forever. There you go. Yeah. So I, I would give a guy in that example or <laughs> lady or family or what couple, uh, probably two examples. And again, if he wants all the cash now, I got to go to a bank, less money. If he wants uh, some seller financing, I can probably give him his price, but he has to take my terms. So that's probably mm -hmm. what I would do. What do you think? Yeah, I think you're brilliant. I think that's that's why you make the big bucks. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, how can people find you? Um, follow me on Instagram at Todd J. Baldwin if you want any other real estate tips and tricks or hacks. There you go, buddy. Thanks.